So, hello and welcome to another episode from the Moby Dick School. Today's topic is the Moby Dick client, uh, installing and setting up. Uh, in our previous episodes, we have added our t various telephone devices, so the SNOM and the uh, soft phone, and we've added users and assigned them to these devices. And now what we need to do is uh, get working with the clients. So, first thing you need to do is navigate to the IP address of your Moby Dick commander. And then, uh, under the Service tab, uh, you can see that we have various clients here that can be downloaded. Uh, we have the Windows version, uh, a general zip folder which can be downloaded and extracted, or specific for Mac OS X, um, which we'll be using today. We also have the option of Android clients and iPhone clients, uh, which can be downloaded from the Play and App stores. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is actually give our users uh, the appropriate rights to be able to access and log into the client and use them properly. So we click back here and we go into the uh, commander and you can see my username is already in there, admin, and I'm just going to set in my password and make sure it's to English and then click in login. Okay, so here we have uh, a concept that needs to be explained a little bit. Under the users menu, uh, we have roles, and basically what that means is their permissions as to what they can actually do within the Moby Dick, whether they can access clients and so on and so on. So we're going to click on that, and then here within this screen, uh, we've got a few options here. Obviously, in a productive system, this list could be much, much longer. Uh, and for example, here where it says all users, that's applying a role to every user that uses the system. Um, but of course, in a productive system, you may not need every role uh, for every user. Um, or for example, you may want to split it up by department marketing versus sales and so on. So I'm just going to click on all users because we've only got two. And then I'm going to click on edit. And here we've got a brief overview of what the roles do. And here we have the role types. For connecting to the client, uh, we need to assign uh, the XMPP um, connect protocol, which is this one here. It's already assigned. Um, and we also need to um, assign the XMPP group protocol. And just to show you how easy that is, I'll just deassign them quickly. And then there they are at the bottom, XMPP connect, reassign and then the group also reassign. Okay, and we click on save, and here, that means the settings have been assigned to all the users that we want them to be assigned to. Doesn't mean that they can actually access the clients just yet. What we need to do is click on apply and tell the Moby Dick that these settings are okay. So we press that, and we see that it's starting to run through. I don't need to wait, I can log out straight away now. Uh, I don't need to do anything with that, it'll do it automatically, okay. And I go back to the service tab, and as I said, we're using OS X, so we're going to download the Moby Dick uh, client. And I'm going to click on that, and it downloads a DMG file. Open that, and it's verifying all the information, uh, checking that everything's okay, and extracting it, and so on. And then there we go, checking buttons, finishing the installation here. And as with all Macs, uh, to actually finish the installation, you need to drag the program to the Applications folder. And I've already got one in there, but I'm just going to replace that one. Takes a couple of seconds, about 200 megabytes, and then we're ready to go almost. Um, so yeah, now that's done, what I can do is I can search for my client, and I just type in here Moby Dick, and there it is. Okay. Now it's going to ask me, because I downloaded it from the internet, wants to make sure it's safe to open. I hope so, we made it. Um, so there we go. And here we go. We've got the user login screen here. And what I can do is I can log in as myself, which the user I set up in the last episode. And then I'd use my password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I log in to the server that I set up in the very first episode. And so save those so you don't have to repeat it every time and log in. Okay. First time takes a while, but there you go. There it is. Okay, so we have our two users here, um, plus myself. Um, the administrator, you can if you want to, um, when he's offline like he is at the moment with Gray, uh, blend them out. Then we have Jack Jones, who's also offline at the moment, but what I can do is, let's see if I can bring him in, because I need to get his phone up.
There we go, excellent. Okay, so he's coming up. And there we go, he's immediately green. Okay, because his soft phone's back online. All right, so that's basically it with the actual clients. I can now make internal phone calls, I can chat, uh, so on and so on. I could do file transfers, whatever I want really. So that's that part of it. Uh, the next part, as I said earlier, we also have um, you know Android and iPhone clients. Uh, so what I'm about to show you now, on my desk, I have a uh, Samsung telephone set up. And if I just click here, you can see I've got the Moby Dick uh, logo just there. And I'm going to click on this, and it's going to ask me to log in. Now, this is a demo network that we use uh, in-house here. I'm going to click Connect. And you can see I've got a demo company all set up, and you can see uh, all the users here. And if I wanted to say, for example, chat with Charles Ross, just press that, and I can chat straight away. And so on and so on. OK, and off it goes. OK, so that's that part. That's the Android app. Um, as also, it looks very similar to the client, um, has similar functionality. In fact, it's almost uh, exactly the same. Um, and also, it's the same as the iPhone app. Okay. So that was all for today. Uh, please join us next time. And if you want any more information, please visit our, our website and the Moby Dick School. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.